Hi guys, how's it going? It's Andrew and welcome to the third live YouTube Newsies chat. We are so excited to be here. Um, if you are watching this, first of all, we apologize for the slight delay. We were having some technical difficulties, but we are up and running right now. Um, if you want to interact with us, um, you can tweet us your questions using the hashtag Newsies chat. We're getting a bunch of ones coming in right now, and we're going to answer your questions live on the air. So first of all, let me introduce my friends who I have here with me and castmates. I'm Garrett, and I play Albert. Hi, I'm Lori. I play Hannah, Pulitzer Secretary, and the Bronx Newsy Smalls. I'm Ryan, and I play Specs, and I'm the Dance Captain. And I'm Andrew, and I play Crutchy. Um, let's dive right in, guys. Our Sweet. first one is from CT Jordan 14 She asks, if you could play any other role in Newsies, who do you want to be? <laughs> Ooh, good question, Jordan. I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to play another role, I think I would want to play Meta. Because um, she gets to sing That's Rich, and who would not want to sing that song? That is rich. Uh, yeah, I'd want to be Jack Kelly because I love all of his songs. Like, I sing Santa Fe along with Jeremy every day <laughs> while I'm, like, getting my new wig on. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd like to be Jack. Um, I'm going to follow Garrett's lead and go gender blind casting. I would, I think I'd like to play Catherine. Watch What Happens is one of my favorite songs on the album, and... Um, yeah, I love it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the bold choice and choose the role of woman buying papers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Julie Foldesai. She keeps it real backstage, yeah. so I would choose her. Um, Ryan, why don't you ask us a question? Okay, we just got a whole slew of some, so... Uh, oh, okay. What was it like performing at the Tonys? We had a lot of um, Tony, first-time Tony performers, um, so it was a really exciting night. Does anyone want to take, take that? Yeah, I mean, it was pretty epic. Uh, I mean, it was definitely one of the highlights we've had on this journey so far. I personally remember just going out right before we started performing and just looking out to the audience and just seeing all these familiar yeah. faces of people I've looked up to my whole life. And that was just like such an incredible moment for all of us and doing it together, you know, we really felt like we had made it. It was also so magical because while we were waiting to go on, they were announcing the Creative Design Awards and Chris Catelli, who is our choreographer, won and we got to watch him on the backstage monitor literally a few minutes before we got to perform. It so moment. it's amazing that anyone was dancing at all because we were such hysterical messes. <laughs> we were so proud of him. And it, it was incredible to get to go and perform some Tony Award winning choreography yeah. immediately yeah, after we won. Yeah, we won the award by the time we yeah. So cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, um, Lori, I've got a question for you. Okay. This is from Sammy Dancer. She asks, Lori, what is it like playing a boy newsy? Love your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, yay, I have a fan. <laughs> um, it's, it's awesome being a boy. Um, I remember in rehearsals when they told me that they were fitting me for some newsy shoes, and I was like, I get to be a newsy? Because um, I've literally dreamed of being a newsy since I was a little girl, and I never ever thought that I would get to be in it because it's all boys. Um, so to, to be one of the four women in the show and then to actually get to be a newsy, I just feel like I'm representing for like all the girls who want to be a newsy so bad, and I love it. I love being with the guys like every day and doing once and for all is my favorite. Like I just feel like united, and it's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> you want to ask a question, Gary? Sure. Okay. All right. This one is from Madeline, or Madeline, not sure. When did you guys all start dancing? You are all amazing dancers. Hashtag so jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Madeline. Madeline. Um, I started dancing when I was six or seven. Just It was a group of boys in my dance studio doing like step together, step, ah, step together. Just easy stuff. Um, and I got serious about it. I think I was like 11 or 12. What about you, Garrett? Um, I started in theater when I was nine, more singing and acting. Um, and then I got into dancing when I was 15. Um, my mom was a choreographer, so I was in a dance teacher, so I was exposed to it from an early age, but didn't really get into it until I was about 15. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I'm not the greatest dancer. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great reasons that I have a crutch. Um, but I don't know, I took a little bit of dance when I was a kid, and I took some in college, but I have not had as much dance training as those, these <laughs> fellas. What about you, Laura? You dance. Uh, yeah, I started, my sister is a couple years older than me, so she was going to dance, and I went to all the classes, so I actually started when I was two and a half, like, taking the combination tap ballet classes, and, uh, yeah, I took 
all growing up and like in college, um, I became much more in, involved in dance, like ballet, tap, and jazz, and um, moja, which is like African infused dance. <laughs> you might have to bust that out. <laughs> <laughs> Someday Don't I might. Yeah. Yep. Okay, wait, I got one. Um, I love this question from CT Jordan 14. Um, what has been the highlight of your acting career? Um, I'll start. Uh, I think I think the highlight of my acting career as Newsies is right now. Um, it's rare that being a dancer is rare. Being a part of a show that really highlights dancing and um, it's really respected in the show. I think and that's um, you don't come across that so often. So I've, I'm feeling really lucky right now. So I think this is my favorite. Mm. Yeah, for real. Newsies has definitely been the, the highlight of, of my life, too, I think. Like, being on this journey, the four of us were at Paper Mill together and um, have been here since, and just being a part of the show that nobody ever thought was going to happen, and then it happened at Paper Mill, and then we got to come to Broadway, and now it's open-ended, and it's literally just every step has been a dream come true. And uh, I literally love waking up every day and going to work. It's fun. I love my cast. I love the crew. I love the stage management and the production team and just everybody involved. It's such a privilege and a joy to work with everybody. So I really don't think that you could ask for anything more. Yeah. And it's been mm -hmm. awesome. Um, I sound like I'm being paid to say this, but <laughs> <laughs> um, No, but really, I mean, I grew up watching this movie and I, you know, it was the first thing, the first time I saw guys dancing and it was a cool thing and that was so inspiring and I always dreamed of being in a stage version of this show and I just, like, it's so crazy coming to work every day and realizing that dream and being a part of it on the other side, now it's, it's such a dream come true. News it is. <laughs> come on, it's the greatest show. Everybody wants to be in it. Um, I have another question. Uh, this is from Beth Buccio. Um, you all seem pretty tight, like a family. Do you hang out together on your days off and or have family feuds? Oh, God. <laughs> Not so much family feuds. No. Um, yeah, this is a, this company gets along so well. It's very cohesive and um, it really is a family. Yeah, and we, we absolutely hang out together. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you are following us on Instagram, you will see us mm -hmm. just always hanging out together. Yeah. They're my best friends, these guys, and um, I'm so lucky that I get to be in a show where I get to hang out with my best <laughs> friends every day. Yeah. How great is that? Yeah, we like, I, I see these cast people more than anybody else. You know, you yeah. have to like make a family. And even on our day off, we would be doing softball. Like most of the cast was at the softball games doing that. And we hang out on the weekends and support each other at birthday parties and different events. So we're together like all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's another, one of the reasons why our show works so well is yeah, the camaraderie that you see on stage is really it's what real. we do yeah. have yeah. off stage. Wait, can I just say that? Um, wait, did we ask these questions about performing on the Tonys and yeah. one who's that's from Madeline Mathias, who is from my hometown. Oh, oh. Theater, and I didn't see it till just now. Hey, <laughs> Shout out to Hi, Madeline. Rich. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see it till right now. Kudos, Rich. girl. Can I see that? Yeah, right there. Oh, nice. Okay, this, this is, is Rich from Inez Ron. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Dog. <laughs> dog. Yeah, I'm a dog, dog. person. Hundred percent dog person. Wait. Yeah, I'm a dog person. I'm just allergic to cats. They're so cute, though. Oh yeah. Well, I think. How do you use that? Oh. Um. I wait. I I have one. Um. That Lori just brought up. Uh. This is from uh, Kristen G. She asks, "What is your favorite slash most funny mishap that has happened during a show?" We all have a few different so stories, I think. Many. Yeah. Um, There's so many. I'm gonna start with one at Paper Mill. <laughs> uh, my pants weren't the stretchiest, and we do a lot of <laughs> um, we do a lot of crazy moves with um, extensions and crazy jumps, and um, so my pants would rip often. Not a bad rip, but just chronic ripping. Um, and <laughs> one show, one show, I did a big like toe touch split leap, and it ripped like down to my knee. Like from knee to knee, and then did I did, then, yeah, and it was in season day, and then I did that big like leapfrog moment. And it was just not pretty for the first few rows. A lot of happy fansies that evening. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit of more Ryan Steele than they bargained for. I have a good one for Lori. Okay. <laughs> this is from. Oh my god. Wait, oh what? wait, this is from what? <laughs> it's from Corey Kai. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I'm just gonna ask it. Was the piercingly high voice quality of Hannah Jeff Calhoun's choice or Lori's? <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Uh, actually, when we started the read through, like the very first day, I just read it like a normal voice, and I just felt like as we continued with rehearsals, like something was missing, and I felt like there were supposed to be funny lines, but nothing was landing. So I was like, I really like Fran Drescher's voice in The Nanny, and I was like, I feel like maybe that would work. So we were doing a run through of Act One, and I literally just started talking like that, and it seemed to work. And so that's the choice. Can you give us a demo? Oh, uh, Mr. Pulitzer, <laughs> hey Corey, thanks for your question. <laughs> this is from Casey Bryant uh, to Ryan Steele. What does being a dance captain mean? Being a dance captain, um, you just basically keep up the artistic integrity of the show. You um, you keep it the way that the choreographer wants it, and you also are responsible for putting in the new cast members. We've we've had a, um, a few new cast members coming in in the recent weeks, and so I've been busy rehearsing them. Um, yeah, you just teach them the show. You make sure they know everything that they need to know to go in. Um, that's basically it. There are so many good questions. This is a. I, I just saw this one from um, from Gavin. It says, "Have you have your life? How have your lives changed since you joined the cast of Newsies?" <coughs> that's such a good question. Mm. Anybody? Um. Wow, I've learned a lot. I think um, going back to being a dance captain, I've learned a lot about what happens behind the scenes more. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's absolutely being a part of an original cast is like yeah. such a dream for all of us. And I feel like ultimately that was like my biggest dream as a kid. So now sort of arriving at that place, it's interesting because you're like, I already reached my like dream goal at mid 20s. Yeah. So yeah. It, it definitely has changed my life. It's It made me realize that uh, you have to set yourself up for other things too. It's yeah. it's only catapulted you to be like, now what else could I yeah, do? Yeah. Uh, like I know at least for me, I want to be like more in like writing and mm -hmm. more in like directing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's really cool. It's like opened up a new sort of world. Yeah, no, Definitely. totally. Like, um, I mean, because of Newsies, that's another dream. Like I'm on Broadway now. On Broadway or Newsies was my Broadway debut. So that has changed dramatically. Like I have been like dreaming of that since I was nine and uh, working for this day, you know, since then. And so Newsies is the reason that that dream came true. And so, yeah, and now it's like, okay, now what? What do we want to do? It's like we always want to keep working and mm -hmm. um, working on our craft and our talent and just, you know, keep on reaching for, for further dreams, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are your favorite ice cream flavors? From Olivia Rose. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. I'll answer this one. Okay. My favorite ice cream flavor yeah. is... Um, it's from Grater's Ice Cream, oh. which is uh, based in Ohio. It's black raspberry chip. It is unbelievable. Ooh, oh, you their, their chocolate chips are, they're basically like pieces of fudge. They Ooh, melt in your mouth. It's yummy. unbelievable. I'm uh, lactose intolerant. Oh. <laughs> so, Sorry to bring it up. Uh, no, it's okay. I go to this <laughs> awesome Japanese soy ice cream bar um, on night and between like 47th and 48th, it's called Kayo Tofu. And they have flavors that change every week and they're super awesome. Cool, I need to go there. Yeah, it's really great. Um, uh, this question comes from Leah Woods. Um, she wants to know what the audition process was like for Newsies. We all have a very different story, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And we can just go down the line. Yeah. Um, well, I had been involved with uh, the readings of this earlier on, so, uh, but I still had to come in and audition because uh, Jeff Calhoun, who is our director, and Chris Catelli needed to be able to see that I could do the role. So I, I did like an audition, then I actually I had to go to the dance call along yeah. with like all the other boys and do that freaking hard <laughs> scene today. <laughs> Luckily, none of the other boys in my audition group were cast in the show, or they would all know. They'd be like, that Andrew Keenan Bulger is a hack. <laughs> But apparently they were like, he can dance well enough to walk with a limp. <laughs> so that was my audition process. Um, for me, yeah, it was it was a long audition process. Yeah. I originally went in as a singer, went in for a, a bunch of different roles, read for a couple different things, went back and did that again, and then went to a dance call um, where we did Seize the Day, the whole military section. Uh, and then there was like another callback, I think, and then the final callback, which was every, basically every male dancer in New York. The most intimidating room ever. So intimidating. Every, everyone was incredible. I was like, how, do, how are they going to cast this? But uh, it was really inspiring, too, and so much fun. And, yeah. 
Yeah, I, uh, mine was long too. I think I had like five callbacks over like a month or two. Um, and I was doing a show out of town, so I'd come off on my days off on Monday and Tuesday and audition and, and get callbacks mostly on those days. And so I think I went into like a, an equity course called The Sing. And um, I just remember like the rooms were small and had less people. And as it went, they just got bigger and were filled. And the last audition for the finals was like, 20 people with like Harvey Firestein and Alan Menken and Jeff Calhoun, Ricky and all of, and Jack Feldman and they were all there and uh, obviously Chris and uh, yeah, so I think I did like some singing and then I read and it did some sides and then I went in and danced and went back and read and then finally did the final call back to sing and read with Jeremy and yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. Mine was just like Garrett's, just <laughs> dance call. We, I think we sang and read and danced at most of the callbacks. Yeah. What's really interesting though is that a lot of the boys in our show got this through an open call, which means it's just like anyone like you, if you read an audition notice, yeah. you can show up and audition for it. And the fact that these boys made it all the way through all of that without having any kind of representation or being invited, I think is really awesome and speaks to the show. Even with an agent, when we were first auditioning, they didn't post invited calls. Mm -hmm. So even the people with agents or mm -hmm. um, with past experience professionally um, had to go to an open call. I think we all sort of went yeah. that route. We've got one from Katie Fatta who says, what's the best way to convince my parents to take me to see the show again? Oh. <laughs> um, I, I recommend making those little coupons for like, <laughs> I will mow the lawn, <laughs> I will do laundry. That, that might work. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Print out the map, quest directions, make some helpful hints. Okay. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> oh, um, there's something. Oh, this is cool. Hey guys, I didn't even realize this. Is it weird to think that not so long ago, Newsies was closing tomorrow? Oh, I wish you all a happy open-ended run. That's that's insane because we oh were when we were first extended, it was to close on what was 20s. it? August, June tenth, June tenth, and then our second August. extension was like August nineteenth, which, which is tomorrow. tomorrow. Man, oh my gosh. wow, that's hard to think. Yeah, that, that would be so sad. Tomorrow we could have been our final performance. That's thank goodness so it's sad. not. Thank goodness for you guys. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, all right, it looks like we have time for about one more question. Do you well, want to find a real good one, Lori? Well, it went away. <laughs> he was talking about if there, oh, um, this is from Alyssa. Oh, it, it went away. She was asking, are there going to be any more live YouTube chats in oh. the future? <laughs> well, I would Actually, guess that there will be. I think you need to keep subscribed to Disney on Broadway, uh, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Disney on Broadway, because we will be announcing when the next YouTube live chat will happen. Um, and I think this is probably a good time to wrap it up and say thank you guys so much for tweeting us questions, being involved in a conversation with us, um, and for tuning in today. Uh, we want to remind you that if you want to come and see Newsies live on stage at the Nederlander Theater, that you should go to Disney on Broad, or oh no, NewsiesTheMusical.com <laughs> to order your tickets. Um, thank you guys yeah, so much for joining us. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Pulitzer and her stake think we're nothing. Are we nothing? No! Pulitzer and Ernst, they think they got us. Do they got us? No! Even though we ain't got hats or badges, where are you?